Hello everyone, George here, KD4MXA. Last week we started the planning phase of building a five element, six meter loop fed antenna. This week we will begin construction. The first step is to lay out all of the element locations onto the boom and then cut the boom to its final length. My boom is 24 feet long and is a little hard to move around the shop, but having cut booms too short in the past, I still normally leave it long and cut it to its final length after I am sure of the element layout. An old woodworker once told me, you haven't cut it wrong till you cut it too short. And those words still ring true 20 years later. First, we will mark a center line down the entire length of the boom material. I use a scribe or a pencil and a square and just guide it down its entire length. Next, we will lay out the placement of the elements. Don't forget to start your first measurement a couple inches from the end of the boom. What I normally do is add two inches to the element layout. Then I lay out the entire length of the boom. This first mark will be the hole position for one of the mounting holes in the element clamp. Then I either use a pair of dividers and mark the second hole, or I add the spacing measurements of the second hole in the element clamp and the layout the boom again. After the layout is complete, double and triple check your measurements. Do not drill holes in the boom until you are 100% sure of their positions. Next, we will add spacers to the side of the boom at the driven element position. There are two clamps spaced here and these pieces are used to support the driven element clamps. I will show later why these clamps need spacing. I usually just cut short lengths from the boom material and attach them to the sides of the boom at the driven element position. After we have marked the layout of the boom, it is time to drill the holes for the element clamps. I am going to use the drill and tap method to hold the element clamps. I did a little destructive testing and feel that the eighth inch thick boom will hold just fine. If later I find the element clamps are coming loose, I will re-drill them and use the inserts or rib nuts as mentioned in the first video. After we have drilled and tapped all of the holes, we will attach all of the half inch tubing to the boom except for the driven part of the loop element. When attaching the elements to the boom, make sure they are centered and squared to the boom. Next we need to attach the driven element to the boom. This element needs to be cut in half and about 10 millimeter space left between the two cut pieces. We will simply take a six foot piece of the half inch tubing and cut it in half. A simple fiberglass dowel is cut in, as an insulating spacer to hold the position of the driven element. This fiberglass dowel is simply an electric fence post picked up from a local farm supply store. We also need to drill and insert nuts and bolts to have an attachment point for our coax. After this step, we can cut four pieces of 3 8 inch tubing in half and insert them into the reflector and the director elements. I usually use a piece of black tape to temporarily hold these elements in place until we can test the antenna and then permanently attach them with worm clamps or rivets. Next, we will bend the loop sections of the driven element. A simple tubing bender is sufficient to bend 3 8 inch tubing. I usually mark the center section of the tubing to be bent and eyeball its position on the boom and then bend one half of the element. Then holding its position on the boom, I will put the bender in position and mark the tubing where it needs to be bent. After the bend is complete, we double check it, bend another one, and temporarily insert them into position held with black tape. Now is a good chance to step back and admire your work. We are almost done. Next, we need to get the coax ready to attach to the driven element. I made a fixture to help me in preparing this. It is just two threaded rods long enough to hold the ring terminal space the same width apart as the driven element attachment points. This helps in getting the tape wrapped around the bare wire without having to maneuver around elements and booms. Now that the coax is attached, we need to test it and see how we did. I will see you next week when we mount the antenna on a test tower and begin final tuning. We will also make and install the antenna ballon. Until then, this is George, KD4MXA. Seven three.